Hi guys, I'm here today to talk to you about 1,000 reasons not to work your plexus business. And I think really I might be an expert on this topic because over the past year or so I have thought of over a thousand reasons not to work my business. And uh, some of those reasons are, you know, it's I have three small kids during nap time. That's my time I have to clean and get things done or and or read because I love reading. Uh, then after the kids go to sleep, that's such a small window. That's my time to either read or hang out with my husband or you know, make popcorn and watch a show. But what I have found, what I've come to find is that those what I thought were reasons not to work my business were actually just excuses getting in the way of a goal that I had set for myself. And the goal, we have to remember, ties back into my why. Why did I choose that goal? Because I want time freedom for my family. Um, I want my family to be able to travel together um, and to, I, we want to be able to give freely to others as well. So, are your reasons for not working a business actually your excuses something to ask yourself and one of the ways that I have found to get that head trash the constant like I should be cleaning I why am I doing this this is not going to lead anywhere all the head trash or your what you think are your reasons um, a good way to get those out of your brain is to do some self-improvement and um, you've probably seen if you're on this team there are lots of books to read on that and there are book clubs or groups that they start you know they'll start reading the secret code of success this month and what don't wait for that you don't have to wait for that that uh, own it own it just go grab some of the books you've seen them this one is a great one I'll put these in the comments this one is a really good one, and it doesn't, I know it sound, It looks like it, um, that's like sleazy or something, but it's not. It's just how to be a nice person. Here's another good one. Here's a wonderful one to get the head trash out. Um, one I'm about to start reading, uh, Get Over Your Darn Self, uh, except there's a curse word in there. So, um, so own it. Don't You don't have to wait for the group read to start. Just go buy one of these books and start reading it a little bit at a time and um, that will help get the head trash out so you can focus on what you have decided is your goal and there's another piece of advice there just decide the wishy-washy that's what I did a lot of wishy-washy it was a huge waste of time just say even even if the s small parts in the back of your head say this is not gonna happen for me just decide do you actually want it would that be awesome to have time freedom so just make a decision shut those guys up and just go for it and start reading books don't give your brain time to focus on the negative um, so on, on the same note as owning it um, your sponsors they're there for you most all of them are working the business and they're they're ready to help you in what, whatever ways that they they can but they don't know all the details they can't it's really ultimately it's your business so get after it ask let them know what you need help with and they'll be there to help you but look stuff up on your own get after it this if you're on the team pages which you are if you're seeing this then there is so much information out there you have to be an advocate for yourself your sponsor can help you in any way that she or he can but really this is your business so get after it start researching reading there are tons of training videos out there waiting for you to to watch them so read a little bit of your book one day watch a training video do some IPAs get on it own it one more thing I was gonna say about owning it um, while you're watching these training videos um, they have a lot of great advice they've been doing this we they've been doing this for longer than some of you have and so they have great advice. They know nice ways to word it and how people will, res will respond, what works, what doesn't work. But ultimately, again, this is you and you have to remain true to yourself. You might feel uncomfortable at times. This doesn't mean just stay in your comfort zone, um, but it means if you're going to go after something or message someone, don't just do exactly what someone else says if it doesn't feel right to you. So change it, make it true to yourself, and go after it. Own it. So. 1,000 reasons not to work your plexus business are those actually just excuses for you to not reach a goal that you think would be awesome. Um, secondly, get some books. Get the head trash out of your head by filling your brain with good good books, good things to read. Um, 
And don't forget your spiritual growth as well. That's super important. And last thing, do it your way. Since this is your business, your sponsors have great advice, but ultimately it's your business. These are your friends that, and family that you're messaging. So be true to yourself and do it your way. That's it. Own it. <laughs>